In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about the Chaperonin system of protein folding. So first I will discuss about the structure of Chaperonin system and then I will discuss about how Chaperonin system works for the protein folding. So let's first look at the structure of Chaperonin system. As you can see, Chaperonin system it is made up of two major protein. This is one protein and this is the second protein. Now this protein inside the prokaryotes it is known as grow el the structurally and functionally similar counterpart in the eukaryotes it is known as hsp60 the second protein in the prokaryotes it is known as grow es similarly structurally and functionally similar protein in the eukaryotes it is known as hsp10 now let's first examine the structure of this grow el as you can see this grow el it is two part this upper part and this lower part right both parts are identical in all the manners each of this part it is made up of seven subunit so we call this half part as a heptameric ring similarly this is also heptameric ring so seven subunit in this part and seven subunit in this part that makes total 14 subunit now this each heptameric portion it forms one large chamber so there are total two large chambers so two heptameric rings are there which forms two large chambers coming to the grow es it is the cape like structure it is heptameric protein that means seven subunits are there and it can block one of the grow el pocket see this is the cape like structure it can bind this protein this grow es can bind with the apical region of grow el and once it is bound over here then this chamber closes if it binds at this place then this chamber gets closed right now you might be wondering that in the prokaryotes why this grow designation is given to this protein here see grow in the grow el and grow in the grow es what is the reason for this name grow so the reason is very interesting one that is the chaperonins first become known for the necessity by certain viruses for growth inside the bacteria so earlier it was thought that this grow el and grow es are actually a growth factor for certain viruses in bacteria so that's why this grow designation is given to these proteins it it was found later on that these proteins are actually a major component of chaperonin system right now let us look at how chaperonin works for the protein folding as you can see over here this is the structure of grow el this grow el basically works on partially folded or misfolded protein so suppose this protein is partially folded or misfolded protein now this such protein has an affinity towards the apical region of the grow el so what will happen this protein binds with this apical region which is shown in this diagram once such protein binds with the grow el then seven atp molecules binds with this chamber now why seven atps because we know that this upper part or this chamber it is heptameric right that means it is seven subunit and each subunit requires one pro uh, one atp that's why the seven ATPs are bound with this chamber. Once ATPs are bound with this chamber, conformational changes occur in this apical region and this protein, which was initially bound with the apical region, it falls inside this cavity, inside this chamber. And this nascent apical region is occupied by this grow ES. Okay, that is the second major component of the chaperonin. Once this grow ES binds over here, this chamber is closed and this protein is trapped inside this chamber. Now, how much time this protein will remain trapped inside this chamber? The time is the same as it is required by the seven ATPs to hydrolyze itself. Okay, and it is estimated that approximately 10 seconds are required for the hydrolysis of these seven ATP molecules. So now for this protein, it is a time of approximately 10 seconds. Now if this protein is misfolded, then what will happen? Within this 10 seconds, 
this misfolded protein undergoes complete unfolding and then it folds in a proper manner or if it is a partially folded then remaining folding is carried out so slow hydrolysis will release seven inorganic phosphate molecules and later on we have seven adps right and now this protein is completely folded and grow yes is still in the place now this adp molecule has not any affinity towards this chamber so all the seven adps are removed they get dissociated from this grow el once adp get dissociated then in the second step this grow es also gets dissociated and once grow es gets dissociated what will happen this chamber will be open so this properly folded protein will leave this cavity so this is properly folded protein so everything dissociate and now once again our this grow el is ready to undergo the second cycle of the protein folding now you might be wondering that i had shown you the function of this upper region only what is the function of this lower region the exactly same function is also happening in this lower part right <clears throat> so that means we can say that this chaperonins are the double engine system right here one protein is undergoing proper folding and in this place also another protein is going for the proper folding so it is a double engine in nature so i hope everything regarding the chaperonin is clear to you if you still have any confusion or doubt please write it down in the comment section below thank you